Now, once we talk about the general duties that go across almost all retail shops or all types of um, product shops, if you will, we can talk about the boundaries of the job. What is and is not an employee's job. What is an employee's job is to serve the consumer from the minute they hit the door to the minute that they leave. But the balance of how to serve a consumer is always established by how you help a consumer to visually or physically to your store. We talked about that a little bit in a previous customer satisfaction and consumer qualification video. But what I want to tell you is that there is major dereliction of duties by employees who get lazy and just don't physically want to do it professionally every day. Because people want to have their personality running amok in your store. You see, people can have personalities, but they can still perform the exact same process every single day. And when I was in my business running different programs in a different way for multiple income streams for my family to support my three S's of shelter, sustenance, and service, in that case, to my particular um, spouse and child, I have to say that I would keep process-oriented forms in my case of working in an office, in my own home office, next to me so that if someone called in and I was in the middle of some other project that had nothing to, to do with the customer calling, that I could literally pick up that form and get myself quickly into the mindset of what I was supposed to be doing, performing customer service or qualification processes on the phone for another program, another income stream in my business. So that leads us to how to handle the phone and incoming calls. A lot of retail employees, especially in larger shops and national or international corporations like an office supply store or Walmart, don't want to answer the phone. One of the reasons they don't really answer it in Walmart or a grocery store is because of the fact there's so many products you can't often automatically know whether or not something is there and it requires you to physically get off your ass, go away from the phone, or talk to someone on a microphone or a uh, internal headset to find out if we do or do not have something that could have been sold that day and be still represented in inventory online. We also have the fact that we have national inventory that sometimes show inventory in a shop but do not provide its pricing. So people could be doing their price checking so that they can establish where they're going to spend their discretionary income, their hard-earned dollars that they earn in their actual professional or um, part-time job. And whether or not they're going to use your store that day to handle this and more. So when you're answering the phone, you should always be answering the phone in the standard way that is professional. Thank you for calling XYZ, which is a store name. How may I help you today? Or this is Bob. This is Peter. How may I help you today? And then the person will answer, and then they'll say, usually, I know something about that, or I don't know something about that. If you'll give me a minute, I'll tell you something about that. And the way that you wrap up the phone call after you've established and listened and carefully responded to the questions of the potential consumer, the potential buyer that helps to keep your job in that store functioning because a company that has no customers does not stay and does not last, is thank you for giving us this opportunity to serve you today. We look forward to meeting you soon in our store.